Um, thank you uh, so much for having me. I'm like so honored to be here, really. This is like kind of ridiculous for me. Um, I love you, Adam. Uh, you're, you're like my hero. And I mean, like, look at this lineup. I feel like we're all here for the same reason, uh, to remind you how much better SNL was in the 90s. <laughs> deserves an award just for being the only rich comedian over 50 who doesn't need us to know what he thinks about trans people. <laughs> Thank you for that. This joke has been done 15 times, but Adam is the voice of a generation, a voice that says, it's <laughs> It sucks when you're watching other people and you're like, I can't do that. <laughs> they took the shaman of the dudes. <laughs> I'll never forget the first time I met Adam. Uh, I was 18 years old, and uh, I had a general meeting with some of his buddies on the Happy Madison Sony lot. And then Adam just appeared like an angel, and he, he was wearing a giant T-shirt, basketball shorts, and Uggs. And uh, he saw how excited I was, and I was just like, oh, my God. And he just looked at me, and he went, uh, did my wife send you here to make me look fat? <laughs> I was like, uh, uh, no. <laughs> Defending his wife that I don't know. Uh, no. <laughs> so, so nervous. And then he just looked at me and he went, hey, you're going to be all right, kid. He was wrong. I, I'm not OK. But <laughs> it was like, it was a really nice thing that he said. It was so nice. And I really needed that so badly in my life. And I hold on to that memory. And he, he still calls me whether if it's like uh, one of my movies bomb, or I get into a car accident, or if I'm rumored to be dating Ice Spice, Adam Sandler <laughs> is always there to say, you're going to be all right. And uh, I love you, Adam. Thank you for having me. I love the Sandlers. And uh, please don't die, because then Judd's going to make a 50-hour documentary about you. So. <laughs>